Listen, if this album doesn't get its respect like the last one didn't, we gonna really have a problem. What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. And I'm back with another week of videos, and we're gonna start the week off with the new Ari Lennox album, Age, Sex, Location. Ari Lennox is an amazing, talented singer on J. Cole's Dreamville label, the best label in hip hop right now. And she's actually the only singer on the label. Now, I, I first heard her on the Revenge of the Dreamers 2 project and her song Backseat with Kaz, one of my favorite songs by her, which turned up on her faux EP, a project that was short and sweet, but still made me a fan of her and what she's doing vocally. She has an amazing, unique voice. Following this, we had her debut album from 2020, I believe 2019 or 2020, being Shea Butter Baby. One of the best, if not best, R&B albums of that year. But yet, it I felt like it really just didn't get the respect that it deserved. From the masses, from, you know, different award shows. Like, th this thing is really, really something of a whole. And really just shows everything that's amazing about Ari Lennox as an artist. So now we have a new album over here, Age, Sex, Location, which I was super excited about. Saw that it was 11 tracks, which just, you know, I love that. And once again, Ari Lennox, like, just doing what she does best. Now, on these 11 tracks, we, we hear the usual from Ari Lennox talking about toxic relationships, heartbreak, but also just that desire for a functional man, a, a, a healthy functional relationship and that validation. And um, she, she really pours her heart out on this album. The production on here was amazing, and, and it very much is... A smoother project compared to the last one. I think that Ari Lennox blends a lot of R&B and hip hop and has a lot more bouncier tracks. So there were a lot more smoother ones on here, but still that same Ari that we know and love. And yeah, this is one of, one of my favorite R&B albums this year. I can't stop playing it. So let's just jump right into these highlights. Of course, we got to start with the intro, POF for Plenty of Fish. And man, the biggest thing that stuck out to me on here was her flow. I loved it. I loved that that she was doing like throughout the whole track. I love that flow. And on here, Ari is, is speaking on men like how we talk about there are plenty of fish in the sea. Um, and, and that's kind of the, the sentiment that Ari has, but it seems as if the, the fish that are in her vicinity always turn out to be bad or, or just a waste of time. And I think this song really sets the tone for Ari and where her head is and just like wanting that validation, wanting a functional relationship and then not settling for anything else. Next, we have the track Hoodie, and man, is this song so smooth. Like, I could really hear Ari performing this on like a jazz club. And <laughs> this is probably one of the most catchiest songs on the album, especially in her just talking about, you know, being in somebody's hoodie and those different things. I thought, I thought it was like really cool, but also kind of funny. Because guys, we've all been there. Hoodies have, you know, been taken or borrowed, but you know, the real ones, we. We always get them back. I love the track, Waste My Time. And I love how she kind of flipped the meaning here. Um, usually, you know, of course, people talk about like having that time wasted, but she wants her time wasted on this song. You know, wants somebody to come over because she has time to waste. And man, the kick and the bass on this were really stuck out. They were they were so powerful together and it, and it really knocked. And I really love that refrain, like post-chorus piece where she's just repeating every word and singing that. and harmonizing and I thought that was a very beautiful section of the song. Mean Mug might be my favorite track on here, but honestly my favorite track changes with every listen. And man, Ari singing on this one really stuck out to me the most, especially the, the vocal layering, it was everything. On this track, Ari is speaking on a man and the mutual interest that's there, but you know, Ari not, you know, going for that because he is seeing other women and Ari is in a place of like, if there's not exclusivity, then like, you know, bye. Um, and it really just shows where she is and just um, how she isn't settling for anything like less than her standards. And that's always the way to go. You know, we got to talk about the track Boy by featuring Lucky Day. And on this song, Lucky Day is, is rolling up on Ari Lennox trying to holler at her. It turns into a, a little walk back to her place where Lucky Day is not successful in getting her number or anything, but this this was like another track where um, it, it's like a mixture of comedy, but also just beautiful singing. Ari Lennox is a very funny person, like if you've seen her, you know, on social media and different things. And man, it, did Lucky Day show up once again? Like this dude, 
is just amazing, man. And, and I always, when I, when I hear him, I'm like, man, this dude is like so young and just like killing it. But then I, then I remember that he's like 40. So it makes more sense. I mean, like y'all, y'all let me know in the comments too, but like on that, that second part of the song where they're going back and forth, like I got a lot of D'Angelo vibes from Lucky Day singing it. Like it sounded so similar. Um, and then on that third verse at the end, when he was rapping, like it felt like Frank Ocean, those songs where Frank Ocean starts rapping. Um, like, like he sound, he has some different sounds in here, but just as a whole, like another amazing feature from Lucky Day. He's kind of been on fire this year with features and definitely on fire when it comes to music and, and that great album he dropped earlier this year. Man, when the beat dropped on the song, Stop By, there, there's so much bounce to this song. Like this is this is probably the most upbeat track on here, and I love the use of the open hi hats on here. That were they were so varied and, and just like were coming out of nowhere, but hit perfectly. And on this song, it's simple. Ari Ari just wants some company, wants somebody to stop by. And also, I really love that. I like that Jack and Jill line that she had to start the second verse. The song Leak It featuring Chloe was another highlight. And man, I, I thought Lucky Day and, and Ari Lennox had chemistry, but her chemistry with Chloe, well, you can't deny it. Chloe just really, she she's in a different lane. Like she, that th this is not the content we would get from a Chloe and Halle record, but I'm not complaining. She definitely was a standout on this song, her refrains and her flows. Like she sounded amazing. Like I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to her debut solo album whenever that comes out. And finally, we have the outro Queen Space that features Summer Walker. We last saw these two together on Summer Walker's last album on the song Unloyal, one of the best tracks on that album. And honestly, like Ari was cool. Like I wasn't as impressed with her performance compared to the others, but Summer Walker, Summer Walker, she, she stole the show. She came in and did her thing. Um, it, it's really, it's really a, a beautiful time. Like you can't go wrong with R&B these days. The, the ladies are killing it. The men are killing it. Um, it it's perfect right now. Now, honestly, the, my, the biggest disappointment and really the only disappointment on this album was the song Outside. Well, I don't know. This, this, this one sounded very odd in the track list. Like it just, it, it just felt weird. Um, the, the bright melody and what was going on was cool. Like it was fine, but then it was just like a sudden switch when in going to the bridge and the chorus and it just, eh, I, I could do without. Now, while I also love the song Pressure and, and especially as a single, um, when I already put it out, like it, it's, it, I could, it, I felt like it could have not been on the track list. It's not cause it's a bad track. It just like, it felt like an odd like song right there where it was like the fourth track coming off very like smooth tracks. Like this one just was a different tempo, a different change up. And like, I feel like I wasn't ready for that yet. But look, beyond that, man, Ari Lennox continues to grow and evolve and we need to grow and evolve with our respect for this woman. One of the best in the game, one of the best label in hip hop. Like she's really on another level and is just continuing to, to do what she does. So come award season next time around, I expect a different level of respect and some different results this time um, because th this woman deserves all the praise for, for what she's doing and what she means to the current wave of R&B. So well done, Ari Lennox. And I'm gonna give this album an eight and a half out of 10. So what you guys think of this new Ari Lennox project? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What were your favorite tracks? Let's have a discussion down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got another video coming tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason. It's been my take, and I'll see you next time.